What is up everyone, Sean here, and today, the day has finally come. I uh, finally was able to get my hands on the uh, Switch. Uh, I got it from Amazon, and uh, this is uh, being recorded on launch day of the Switch. Uh, I've been waiting for this for a uh, pretty good while, and um, hopefully this is the console that will, you know, make it make its like strong comeback and stuff like that. So, uh, and today we'll be unboxing this baby. Along with uh, first impressions and stuff like that, I want to you know definitely you know, get get the feel of them controllers. And uh, right now, funny enough, I don't have the games on me, so I can't you know try this out right away. But uh, as soon as I uh, as soon as I do get my hands on uh, Breath of the Wild and want to switch and uh, a couple other games, maybe possibly in the future for March, uh, we're too late today. Just gonna take a take a look at it and unbox it, open it all up, and. Give you guys my initial thoughts on it. So, first off, it's a very nice, compact, tight package here. I do like the boxing, and oh my gosh, there it is, guys. The Joy Cons and the uh, the game pad right here, the touch pad or the touch screen right here. Let's just so be a little careful. We don't have the. Uh, the screen protectors for it just yet. We'll uh, get those on uh, on the Monday from this recording here. So this is the, the touch screen, and actually kind of kind of feels a little heavier than I thought it would be. And the screen doesn't look too small from from initial from initial reaction right here. Just looking at it right now. So we'll put that down. That was the the console itself, of course. And now. Uh, we uh, pull out the the Joy Cons right here. Stick them out of the baggies, and they're actually not as light as I thought it would be. They're, I mean, they're not they're not super heavy or anything like that, but they're still they still have some weight to it, of course, because there's all the technology inside and buttons feel pretty good. Um. And doing it like this, hmm, it's not as awkward as I thought it would be at first. Anyway, buttons feel pretty good, and then there's the shoulder buttons up here, and uh, stick feels, hmm, stick feels a lot different from all the other like Nintendo controllers that I've felt in the past. And there's a little button right here to detach the controller. I'm thinking, so we get to all the all the clicking and all the neat little stuff. And here's the, so that was the right one, I think. Yeah, it was the right one. And here's the left one. Yeah. Now that the button is in the middle, it feels a little, a little more different, but a little more familiar at the same time because the stick is more to the side, which is fine, but it's, and this one here doesn't feel, doesn't feel any less awkward um, in some ways, but let me just hold it like this. Yeah, so like, this is like kind of like a configuration you can use to like relax and stuff like that on your bed or on your couch when you're just like slouching and stuff like that. Overall, initially, the Joy-Cons feel not as like small in my hands as I thought as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like super tiny. I thought it'd be kind of like awkward for me to hold since I do have relatively large hands here. Even for a Japanese guy. Alright, so that was the Joy Cons and the the main console right here, or the touch screen. Here's the HDMI cable. Standard, which is nice. AC power adapter. Now, I don't understand why they still do these things where they put the prongs on the box. <laughs> kind of like what a uh, angry video game nerd has complained in the past. They still do this. They still do this. It's 2017, and they still do this. Some some brands, anyway. And unfortunately, Nintendo is still one of them. But, nonetheless, you get the AC power adapter. 
and on one end it is type C uh, USB type C so that means um, your <clears throat> excuse me uh, your power banks are, are probably gonna be very useful for charging your Nintendo switch when you're on the go which is really nice um, they went with a much more universal cable component to make it a lot more standard for today's electronics and now we just got the Joy-Con controller pad right here that you can like attach it. Looks really neat. And uh, you can see the rails and stuff like that to detach them. So I'm gonna do that right now just to see how this initially feels. I'm gonna hear that click, right? Ooh, that's my first time hearing that click, man. And the controller, this configuration for the controller isn't bad. But this definitely would be not my first choice of uh, configuration. It's like a nice alternative. So like basically, if you have a friend over and he kind of wants kind of uh, something close to the uh, like uh, a gamepad, this is probably a nice alternative. Um, if anyone doesn't have the pro, pro controller just yet, um, I'll definitely get my hands on that one soon ish. Um, this is kind of a nice little alternative to hold you over until the pro controller, I'm sure. But Again, the buttons actually feel pretty nice. They feel smaller, actually. It feels significantly smaller than before, especially if you compare it to the Wii U uh, Pro Controller. Um, they kind of look like the uh, Xbox controller with those buttons. Those feel a lot more heftier. I mean, th these feel like, they have a nice solid click to it, but the bun buttons themselves feel pretty tiny. Um, don't know if that's a, a pro or a con, for anyone but just pointing that out and yeah joysticks feel smaller as well now that i kind of mentioned the, the the tiny nature of the buttons the joysticks definitely feel smaller but the way the the movement and stuff like that feels pretty tight really kind of like it um definitely for once i get used to it I might i might really start to like it um this could this configuration isn't bad though i will i will I will, I will not say that it feels like absolutely awkward or anything like that. It's really nice to have an option like this. Um, too bad it does not charge though. This is not a charging controller pad. Um, that one I will also get my hands on just to kind of see what it's like. And it would be kind of nice, a nice way to charge the, uh, the Joy-Cons without having to, you know, attach it to the console itself. So let's see if there's anything else in the, um, in the box here. Oh yeah, here's the wrist straps for it. It's really cool. Oh, and then the other wrist strap is over here. All right, yeah. Want to make sure we're not missing anything. So let's uh, try one. Let's get the uh, left one out of here. So let's see how easy it is to see. The attaching feels uh, relatively smooth for the most part. It doesn't feel Again, any there's no awkwardness to it. There's no nothing clunky about it. At least like what what you do with the with the switch so far doesn't feel too clunky. Doesn't feel like it's cheap, cheaply built. So I think that price tag is a little you know so uh, justified. All right, so we have the uh, wrist strap. I think this is for yeah. This is this is for the left one here. You can tell by the symbol. Like it has a. Uh, minus sign. I don't know if you can, guys can see that, but yeah, there you go. Kind of, you kind of see it now. There's a minus symbol. Nice little way to indicate which one is which, and slide it down like this. Feel that click, and now it feels a little better to hold. Um, I, oh, I didn't think about the buttons are over here so when you're having it in your hand. I wonder if these come into play at all. So hopefully that doesn't happen because you're bound to push these buttons with your palm whenever you're like frantically gaming or whatever, like Mario Kart or something like that. But these ones feel a little more loose for the buttons. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't give you the feel of actually hitting the button, kind of just there, very soft. But once you actually play the game, maybe um, that feel will go away. 
Not that it would make the buttons any tighter, but you know, like, pretty sure these buttons will work uh, once you actually start playing the game. Um, oh, and there's a lock button for it. Oh, okay. So it looks like, yeah, and that's nice and tight. And then when you want to unlock it, pull it down, and then hold the button, I guess. Unlock it, hold the button down, pull it up. So, sorry that took long. So here's the other wrist strap right here. All right, so I think we're missing just the dock now. Let's see how that looks in person. And uh, let's uh, remove the box now. And then here's the dock itself. Ooh, it's got some nice uh, rubber padding on the bottom. So it will move around as as easily. Um, and then the console goes like this, right? Yeah, it's, it kind of just slides right in. Doesn't like, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't have that, have that little like hard docking feeling when you um, like, uh, putting like your, your iPhone in or something like that. Um, yeah, it just clicks right off. Pretty easy. Probably gonna use like magnets to, um, charge the, the dock here. I mean, uh, the, the device itself. Cause yeah, there's nothing, there's no like prong on the bottom here for the type C USB. And kind of just there's a little soft click to it, and kind of just sits right there. Doesn't move around. Very nice. And overall, it's a very small console. This is probably like the tiniest console I've seen, even with the dock on. Um, very low profile looking. And um, here, 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 let's uh, let's grab the Wii U for reference here. So here's the Wii U right here side by side with the um the switch here and you can kind of tell how big it is side by side like that that is significantly smaller wow i did not expect that to be super tiny comparing to the wii u i didn't i didn't even think about wii u being that big either when, uh, back when it was out but now we have the switch and makes the wii u look very bulky Comparing to it, um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty nifty. Um, it makes a nice <clears throat> little profile console for your home. Not gonna take up as much uh, space, so the, fl the footprint for this guy is not large at all. Um, I don't think, unfortunately, you can't put the console down like this anymore because it looks like it's not designed to be that way it's designed to be standing up like this for the, so for those for those people who like to put their consoles on the side like this uh, i don't i don't i wouldn't recommend it um it's actually going to be better to uh, stand it up like this and i don't see the why, reason why you would kind of want to because there's a little door here to kind of like sort out your cables really neat so let's see uh what's inside um here so we have the ac adapter uh input usb input uh which is really nice and it's actually 3.0 nice you can see the little like blue thing right there really cool and hdmi out for your tv of course and you can just sort it all out right here and have all the cables come out from here nice nice and neat uh, neat and organized um let's actually take a look a closer look at the device itself so we have the volume button right here uh, let's let that focus a bit, but uh, meanwhile, uh, there's a volume button right here and then we have some little air vents right here for uh, obviously some heat control um, <clears throat> and then you have the headphone jack and then uh, you have the game card slot right here and on the, uh, this side of course these are the railing for your droid cons and then you, on the bottom here you have the uh, USB type C input so you can charge your device and oh yeah there's a little kickstand right there so you can 
open up here. Okay. Wow. The uh, I can see why the kickstand feels a little flimsy. It does hold up the console just fine, but moving around the thing does feel a little weak. It does feel weak. But um, yeah, basic uh, setup here. Oh yeah, and then uh, on the bottom of I'm trying to be careful here, the bottom of the console here, you can see the uh, micro SD slot, so you can you know uh, add more memory to it or um, storage. I mean, and on the back here, probably more uh, more either more heat or probably those are speakers. Not too sure, but. Either way, there is some ventilation going on. Yeah, and of course, don't forget to uh, put the kickstand in and then you put the console on there. Uh, I think some people forgot to do that in some videos, so it kind of just snapped off. Um, oh yeah, and of course, there's a power button right here. Yeah, pretty standard setup. So uh, let's put the dock in. Center it just a bit. And then let's uh, let's do what the switch is meant to do. So we have the Joy Cons right here. Ooh, very nice click. And pull it out. And now we have the portable tablet mode, which is um, it's feeling pretty pretty neat right now. Um, definitely feels. Somewhat similar, I would say, with the gamepad from the Wii U. Oh, and just for another comparison, let's bring out the gamepad from the Wii U. Alright, so now we got the um, the Wii U gamepad over here. Let me just move some stuff around before I compare it. To, compare it. Looks like the screens to me are somewhat different uh, in size. I think... Uh, this one comes out a little bigger, but um, the dimensions will say otherwise. You can kind of see my face right there. Um, but when you're talking about the bulk around it, yeah, it definitely is a lot noticeably different. Um, there are some there are some notable differences, I must say. And the gamepad feels, of course, a lot bulkier. And definitely in design will make it a little more primitive. But at the same time... There are some contours that the um, the switch lacks, and that makes that, that made the gamepad um, with the Wii U gamepad a lot more comfortable in your hands. Um, this one initially, um, because it lacks the contours on the bottom here, does feel a little uh, somewhat awkward. Um, this is something I have to get used to. Um, there's no initial comfort to it. Um, um, it's not not completely like uncomfortable, but at the same time, it's um, not immediately comfortable in my hand. Um, again, it's pretty much flat on the bottom here, so I'm not gonna get that uh, that nice you know contour you know ergonomic feel to it. Um, definitely not fit in my hands. And oh yeah, I forgot to test the R3 and L3s, so you can click with the the um, the sticks as well, but. I'll probably get used to it and um, and be pretty happy with this uh, this configuration right here over time. So overall, that's pretty much it for the unboxing portion. I do have some things uh, to say about the first impressions here. Um, the overall package, the overall bundle for $300, um, it seems very very standard or you know kind of like uh, minimum here. Um, it doesn't come with a game. Uh, so unfortunately, like something like One Two Switch should have been um, the free game here, <clears throat> and uh, that cost that will cost you fifty uh, fifty more bucks if you want to you know start with that, um, or and or uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild here, and uh, none of those will come with the the console here unfortunately. So which is why. Uh, it is very, very uh, minimum here. It's kind of like a very dry comparing to um, other bundles in the past. But I'm, I'm pretty sure they will come out with bundles for the holidays. Uh, that's something they, they got to do in order to really make it sell for, um, the um, for the holiday consumers. But overall, the 
overall like main concept of the, of the Nintendo Switch here seems pretty um, seems pretty tight or well built um, and executed well for the most part so far. Uh, I have not played the games at all, so you know I um, I'll definitely do that in the final uh, review video <clears throat> that I would love to do for the Nintendo Switch here as a console. Uh, not and uh, I'll probably review the individual games after that sometime or during around the same time. Um, well, yeah, it's kind of nice. It comes with these uh, wrist straps right here for your Joy Cons. It comes with the main console, of course, dock, the little um, control pad right here for your Joy Con, power, of course, standard cable, HDMI. So, very small pack, um, very minimum package, but it comes with all the stuff that you. Uh, kind of need and so overall not not the worst package but the um but it could have been a lot better oh look at that i almost forgot to uh put the kickstand up before i put the oh, oh here we go yeah so uh careful when you're picking up the console don't pick it up by this you gotta pick up by the whole thing if you want to pick up the whole, the dock and the console itself because it doesn't really it's not securely locked in there from uh vertically you know so um if you can't i mean it's secured horizontally so it won't slide off but it won't certainly hold up like that so be be, uh, be very careful and then uh the joy cons did it come off like this? Yes, they do. All right, something I gotta get used to now. Now this is like the the standard controls, pretty much for the Nintendo console here. But so far, it's looking it's looking really really neat. I really really would like to start testing this thing out um, with the games. Uh, I will get Breath of the Wild, of course, and I will get. The one to switch and i will get the one to switch later on today here actually so yeah kind of a very in-depth uh unboxing and first impressions on it i really wanted to start talking about this so this is a start right so um sorry if the video was a little long for uh, unboxing but really wanted to uh, talk about it you know how it feels and stuff like that how it uh, how it fits in my hands ergonomically and how how the uh you know the Nintendo Switch is like overall based on initial impressions here so thank you guys so much that this has been the unboxing and uh, first impressions on the Nintendo Switch here I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit the thumbs up and um, if you have any comments or anything like that uh, leave me down below and are you guys convinced uh, about the Nintendo Switch now or are you, are you, wait, are you guys waiting on more games and stuff like that for the Nintendo Switch here. Um, let me know in the comments, man. I love to uh, check them out. Um, what games are you looking forward to? What games you want to see for the Switch for you to be uh, convinced to get the game, uh, get the console and the games, of course. So, um, and hopefully they'll come out with uh, maybe more colors, more bundles. Um, we'll have to see about that for the holidays, uh, especially. So. Anyways, uh, that's it for the Nintendo Switch unboxing and the first impressions video. Thank, uh, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video. I will be reviewing uh, the console itself uh, after testing out some games with it, how it performs outdoors and stuff like that, and all that fun stuff. And of course, reviewing the games as well uh, later, uh, later in time. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Sean out.